Hello everyone, welcome back to Sweet Keto 86. Today's recipe is something that you all can meal prep. I actually was doing meal prepping in the beginning of my keto journey and it really helped me because I had everything already cooked for myself. So if I cook something for my family that I couldn't eat, I already had dinner, lunch, breakfast made. So this recipe is our mini, so sorry, mini keto meatloaves. So if you guys are interested in this recipe, stay tuned. And as always, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I suggest you do so. Subscribe, hit your notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, give it a thumbs up and let's get to our ingredients. So of course for this recipe, we're gonna be using our muffin tins right here because they are mini meatloaves. So we're gonna use a half an onion. We're gonna have one egg. We have some no sugar added ketchup for the top. We are gonna add some crushed red peppers, some garlic powder, onion powder. I do not have on hand Italian seasoning. I know, who is she? I'm sorry, I do not have it on hand. But we have herbs de Provence, so we're gonna use that. We are gonna use the fuego, which is kind of spicy, um, pork rinds, and this is gonna be our breadcrumb substitute. Now, I'm gonna actually line the tin around with some bacon. And of course, we cannot do meatloaf without our ground meat. So our ground beef, when I freeze it, I actually flatten it out. I learned this from one of the YouTubers. Her name is Nicole Burgess, and she always freezes her meats and does it like flat. And I've been doing it like that because it's quick, it's very quick to defrost. And you know, you're pretty much saving storage space in your freezer. So I've been doing this ever since I've been watching her for about two years now. So yes so we're gonna do all this deliciousness guys and let's get to this recipe so first of all we're gonna grind our pork rinds because we have just a bag so they come um i know that you could actually find the breadcrumbs already like this but in my supermarkets i have not yet to find them so we are gonna crush them up and since the herbs de provence is like you know a little bit um it has the rosemary and stuff so i'm gonna actually put it in there with it so i could make sure everything is well incorporated and it's smashed correctly so we're gonna do one fourth of it heaping one fourth of it so let's get to this and start grinding it gonna get really loud guys so i'm gonna turn off my camera and i'll show you guys how it looks when it's done hey guys, so we finished with our pork rinds and this is exactly what you want it to look like just like that and like i said i'm mexican soy de zacatecas i love spicy food me encanta la comida picosa so i want to tweak this recipe just a tiny bit for me and my family of course not everybody's gonna like it in your household because if like my husband doesn't like me loaf so this recipe is just for me but my son will eat it so like i said nos gusta la comida picante we love spicy food so we're gonna do that so this is done we're gonna throw it in our bowl and get our rest of the recipes going so in my bowl i weighed out 16 ounces which is one pound of ground beef and i already have my breadcrumbs in here so the rest of this meat we're gonna seal it up again and we're gonna put it back in the fridge and we're just gonna use it for another recipe so, like i said this is a great way to store your meat we're gonna get to it i love having a scale just to measure out everything correctly like i said um, you know, this is going to be my food today. So now we're going to put a half an onion in dices and we're going to throw it in our meatloaf. So 
Let me just situate this where you guys can see. So here, I'm telling you guys, I love making different types of meatloaves. I made like a Southwest meatloaf where I put peppers and bacon and it's very delicious. My husband likes it, but he says that usually when he eats ground beef, it gives him like a lot of like heartburn and so I'm gonna offer it to him if he wants to eat it, he'll eat it. If he doesn't, then better for me. I love me some meatloaf. So. And we're gonna dice these onions super fine. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I want my onions to be super fine. Not chunky whatsoever. And like I said, guys, keto does not have to be hard. You know, whatever you guys have in your pantry, you could always look up ideas. Um, I actually got this recipe off of Pinterest and I just tweak it up a little bit to my liking. So um, when I was doing keto in the beginning, I got bored of having the same food all the time. So this is what I would like to eat. So here you go. We're just going to put this in here. And you could always saute your onions if you want. I actually think I'm going to do a fourth cup of onions because I think that's just too much onions for me. So now we're going to put a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder and then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes because y'all know like I said before I like spicy food me encanta la comida picosa so the spicier the better in my point so, okay, so now we're just gonna put salt and pepper, so a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. We're gonna crush it. And now we're going to put our egg. Okay, now we're going to mix this together. So we're just going to mix it. I'm telling you guys. This recipe is so bomb, so delicious. So I like watching cooking shows and every time I make meatloaf, I remember Bobby Flay, like beat Bobby Flay. And in that show, um, they were doing hamburgers and then he was putting all these things into his hamburger and the other contestant was just salt and pepper and they asked him hey you're not scared blah 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 and he told them no because i'm making hamburgers not meatloaf so every time i make meatloaf i remember that i'm sorry i just i'm laughing in my head while i'm mixing this so so this is exactly what you want everything well incorporated so now we're gonna start fixing up this meatloaf into our pan. But first we're gonna spray it and we're gonna start putting our bacon 
on it. So let me wash my hands really quick and we'll get to the rest of it. it smells delicious. So I already have my oven heating up at 350 degrees. So now we're just gonna, I had some bacon left over from breakfast the other day. And what I'm gonna do is just cut them in half and line my, okay, this did not work. There you go. Guess my knife is not sharp enough, I don't know. So we're just gonna line that outer rim and you would just go just like that in like a circle. And then I like to pull on the bacon, I don't know why, just Now when I do meatloaf for my house, like the Tex-Mex one, I usually put the bacon on top. But since it's just for me and I want a nice crust, we're just gonna do it on the circle part of our meatloaf. I don't know, this one broke. We're just gonna fix it there. So we're gonna finish doing this to the rest of our bacon and then I'll show you. Okay guys, so here you guys have the tints, right? With our bacon and um, some of my bacon was ripping. So I'm just gonna make a full circle with whatever broke, just like that to cover all the sides okay so it's okay if it breaks now we're gonna fill our little muffins with our delicious meatloaf and I just do like balls and then just stick them in there and flat it out and then just like that so i'll do this side right here so you guys can see so a little ball goes in press it down and then put your bacon on top of it you know so let's keep doing this So I'm gonna finish this and I'll show you guys the rest. So I'm gonna cook them about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we're gonna do uh, the ketchup on top and then put them in, again under for 15 minutes. You could always check like at your 10 minute mark to see if it's cooked. If your thermometer um, says it's medium rare, then you can start putting the, the ketchup. So here you go. These are our muffin tins, and this is our mini meatloaf, and it's going in our oven for, like I said, 10 minutes. We'll check them and see the temperature. So while this is cooking, if you guys like what you guys see, please subscribe, tell your friends. You know, this is a small channel. We do love each other in here. We support each other. I'm super glad that you're watching this because you want to start a journey, a journey that I've been on for two years that I've lost over 70 pounds. And like I said, we're small channel. If you guys like what you see, tell your friends, subscribe, hit your notification bell so you could be notified when we upload a new video or when I upload a new video. And you know, if you guys want to see anything, put it in the comments. I always see it. Um, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, Follow me, it's the same name, sweet underscore keto 86. We have videos there, like small little clips where we just, um, you know, what I'm eating, 
I always post it there, our exercises. You know, we are here to support each other. Believe it or not, even though you guys are probably far away, I'm here to support you guys. So if you guys have anything or you guys feel down because you guys feel like you can't do this, believe me, I've been there. I'm here for you guys, no matter what. So like I said, subscribe to my channel, hit your notification bells, give it a thumbs up. And as always, leave me a comment. I always read them. I'll comment back at you guys. So if there's anything else that you guys want to see, like I said, let me know. So while that's cooking, I'm going to start getting my ketchup ready. I'm going to do about two tablespoons of ketchup. Just like that. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit more. And um, we are going to wait for our meatloaves to come out so we could put this on top of it and it could start caramelizing. So really quick guys, we do have a challenge that's going to start in April. I will be super pleased if you guys want to join me during our clean eating keto. So for the month of April, we're going to try really hard to eat really clean. So we're going to be incorporating a lot of avocados, a lot of uh, um, berries, um, eggs, you know, yogurts and just really trying to eat like non-processed foods. So no artificial sweeteners, none of that. So if you guys are up for the challenge, please leave down the comment below with your thumbs up. So I know you guys are gonna be in it. I'll be trying to post at least three videos a week of what I'm gonna be eating. And those videos will be like meal prep. So videos that you could eat throughout your clean eating. And that way you don't have to be cooking every day. So our oven is ready. We're gonna pull that out and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. If you guys up for the challenge, put your thumbs up down below and let's get to it. Here is how they look and I'm gonna temp them. They're looking a little bit like they're bleeding still, but I do not like my meat raw. So, I want it fully cooked, guys, and that's why I'm going to put the ketchup now, and then I can even put my ketchup and let it keep cooking. So, here it is. So, we're going to temp it and put in our ketchup. Okay, guys, so we're going to put our ketchup, and you don't need to put a lot, just a tiny bit, and I'm going to let it cook for another 20 minutes. looking really good guys and it smells really good so I forgot to tell you guys that I actually put some crushed red peppers on my ketchup because like I told you guys I like spicy food so just enough so I'm weird after I cook it with ketchup I still like to put more ketchup on top so it ain't no meatloaf if you don't put ketchup so there you guys have it I'm gonna let it cook for another 20 minutes and we'll pull it out and see what's the temperature on it so we have about 38 seconds for our meatloaf to come out and we're gonna temp it again just to make sure because like I've told you in the past I do not like raw meat or medium rare i like it fully cooked i'm weird like that i'm sorry so that's gonna go off right now and we're gonna pull it out temp it and plate it for you guys so you guys can see it and if it's not too piping hot i'll try it for you guys y'all if you could smell this it's delicious 
So just pick one and tempt it. And yep, it's fully cooked. Y'all know that I like raw meat. So we are gonna remove them from here. And show you guys this beauty. So I would like to grab some tongs. Look at how cute those mini meat loaves are. Super cute, super delicious. 1.2 net carbs per meatloaf. Can't beat that. There you guys have them. See how beautiful they are. So we are going to get our plate and try one for you guys. I'm honestly scared to burn myself because it's like piping hot, <laughs> but I have to try it for you guys because I don't like watching videos that people don't try their own food. Um, like I said, this is a great way to prep for meal prep and y'all could pair it with some cauliflower mash or cauliflower rice with asparagus. Ain't that beauty. Super piping hot. Oh my God. Mm -mm. Y'all, if you guys make this, oh my God. I just got like a little hint of kick. Of the spiciness if you guys make this please tag me this is amazing oh my god like not dry whatsoever very juicy you could taste that breadcrumbs from the fuego breadcrumbs oh my god it's like super bomb flavorful If you guys make this, go on my Instagram and for sure tag me. I would love to see your creations, your imitation of what you want to put in your meatloaf. Bomb, guys. <laughs> Super delicious. Super spicy but very good. I'm sorry, I have my mouth full. For more recipes like this, please subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. Hit your notification bell so you can be notified when up I upload a new video. I'm going to have another one with a soda. Boom. Lunch is ready.